Previously on Lincoln Creek. It's newer style Freightliner, very clean truck overall. So yeah, overall, I think this is a nice purchase. I'll let the guy know that I want it. Just got to the client, got the baler loaded up here. There we go, just make sure we can make that turn there. And clear, perfect. We are here, y'all. Let's find the manager and get unloaded, shall we? I'm a rolling stone, bound to roam. Come on, or I'll be gone. Or in rain, or to hear that train. There she comes. Won't you get on? Watch the trees fall and leave. Like the breeze, won't you blow? Oh man, it's about nine in the morning. We're running a little behind. I feel like that's a common occurrence. I feel like I'm always running behind. Let's fire up the truck. Let's get on up to the co-op and get to work. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you get a big old thumbs up and subscribe for more. If we hit 150,000 subscribers by November 22nd, I'll give away 10 copies of Farm Sim 22. But right, let's pull on in here and get ourselves something to drink. Maybe some coffee. Mm-mm-mm. Got myself a coffee and a breakfast pizza. Good old Casey's. Can never go wrong. Well, I suppose first thing to do this morning is to get the sprayer ready to go here. We've already got the spreader on the back of it, so that's all good. Hop inside, fire it up. We're going to pull this out and make sure it's all prepped ready to go. By the way, before we roll out, we're going to check the weather on the iPad. We can see today it's going to rain at noon, and then it'll rain again around 2100 here, and it's also going to rain tomorrow, as well as Saturday and Monday. It's a rainy week. But we've got the back opened up. We're going to pull up underneath our solid fertilizer here and get it filled up. I, mean, I just want to call and, and verify on time when you were heading out here. Yeah, I should be getting out there here in the next, uh, take me, what, 10 minutes to get over there maybe, and uh, we'll be out there spreading. Don't know how long it'll take me to get that all spread, but it shouldn't be too bad. Copy that. All right, my man, I appreciate it. We'll see you out here in a bit. Well, there we go. Just talked to King, and we are on the road. Got a full deal of fertilizer, and uh, hopefully this will last us for the field, but I'm doubting it, that it will. And I don't have a service vehicle with me here today, so uh, it's going to be a long trip in the sprayer here today. But we'll get on down the road, and uh, we'll get out in the field and get to work before the rain comes. Well, we're passing King's Place right here, and this should be the field right here that we are going to get to spread on. So I figure I'll just pull right on in, and we are going to have to get our GPS set up ready to go. And we're going to set our width. It's 104.99 feet wide. I want to make sure we have no offset. And there we go. We got a headland set at uh, 104.99. 104.99 is our width. So that'll let us do a headland pass afterwards at the perfect width here. And that should be good to go. Let's go ahead and turn on our visualizer. Enable the guidance steer. And let's see here. So now we should be able to set our course. So what we're going to do is set a right here we'll drive forward a few feet and right there ought to be far enough now we go back into our tablet we set b all right there we go we got that set but now we need to get that shifted over so we're still working on our tablet here and we're just shifting that course over here to the side line it up with the field there we go there we go we are all set on the gps at least we should be so let's go ahead and lock on We'll start cruising forward. We've already got our application rate set here. And there we go. We are fertilizing the field. So this should all work pretty smooth for us. We're going to be going at about 21 mile an hour. In fact, I'm going to just adjust this back down here to 21. There we go. We are cooking through the field. Spreading pretty fast, but we got a good spread rate on us. And I should be able to bring this up. There we go. And we can get a live view of the area that we've covered in any areas that we miss. So we're getting a lot of good data on our little tablet here. This GPS system makes our lives so much easier with what we're trying to do. So we'll just come right back down here, set it and forget it. There we go and we're spreading. Pretty sure I just saw King pull into the field here, which means uh, I'm a, he's gonna maybe get into uh, some of the headland areas that I don't have done yet. So I might have to just go ahead and fulfill the full field before uh, 
before he gets into those so we'll have to change our attack strategy here a little bit but that'll be all right yeah there goes king and his uh planter right over there looks like he's got a deer with a kinsey planter out there and since he's trying to get planted right away right behind us i guess i'll go ahead and do a full headland system here uh instead of doing the auto stop like we are right here i gotta turn this off so in order to change that we're just gonna open up here and we're gonna disable our headland mode and there we we go now it's still gonna warn me that i'm at the headland uh our, our stop there but now that i've got it disabled no longer set to stop i should be allowed to bypass so i'm just gonna come over here and clean this portion up before he gets out here and gets planting into it but there we go that is done shut her down and we're gonna turn on our four ways and we will get back over here now i'm gonna try and catch king before he goes and turns it around hold on buddy let's see if i can get his attention wait 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 no oh uh, we'll wait we'll oh well, he got he sees me i uh was hoping that you'd see me in your rear view there uh, i just wanted to make sure that you didn't need anything else with uh some solid fur before i drive out of your area here Nope, nope, not with the solid deferreds. If you need anything while planting, just give me a call. All right, my man. Thank you. All right, good luck. Well, we're back at the co-op. So what I think we'll do is... Well, I suppose I better pull on around and empty this back out, huh? Eh, you know what? Before we do that, I, I'm just going to put it in the, underneath the shed. I think for the time being, that'll be fine. All right, there we go. We've got the first job done here today. Now, I do have to get some fuel run up to a farmer north of town here. So we're going to hop in our old, uh, well, we actually got a new fuel truck and we got rid of the other trailer that we were using to haul fuel because this is going to be a lot easier to get in and out of farmers places. So hopped up inside, closed the door. We're going to fire it up here and get on up to the new client. Now I am going to let that just run for a minute here. Let's close that door. And while that's getting warmed up, we're going to run over here. Eh, it doesn't look like we've had any more seed sales since I've been gone. So that's good. Well, not good, I should say. Or we have gotten more, but they've actually taken the time to refill them. It's one or the other. I won't know until I check the books. But the truck should be f uh, all warmed up, ready to roll for us here. So let's go ahead, put it into uh, first gear. Let's get on up, shall we? So we'll just head on out of here, right on up to the uh, the f the farmer's yard, just north of town. Here we go. Get it up to 2,000. Come on and go ahead and shift it through. There we go. All right, anybody coming? Let's come to a stop. There's a car right there. All right, fully out. Let her accelerate and shift. There we go. We're getting the hang of this truck. And coming up to the stop here. Slow down. Woof, she's got some weight to her. Looks like there's some cars coming over there, but we should be able to make this turn. So let's go ahead and turn. Come on. Trying to make sure we clear it. Hang on there, buddy. I know, trying to make a turn here. There we go, perfect. All right, now we're on the road just a few miles north and we'll pull into this guy's driveway. All right, this should be our turn right up here. So let's slow down nice and easy and pull on in here to give this guy some fuel. So it looks like his fuel tank's right up there to our left. All right, right here should do. So let's line ourselves up, back on up into it. There we go, got them all fueled up and close up that door let's kick her into gear and get on out of here all right we got back here to the co-op i just checked the weather they changed the forecast it's gonna start raining here like in the next you know 10 20 minutes maybe so uh i do want to get up to the dealership and pick up a lawnmower that i purchased but before we can do that i've got to get down to the house and get my trailer so let's go down there I was hoping to mow some yard today, and maybe we can get a little bit of the grass mode before the rain fully sets in here. I guess we'll see uh, how the weather plays out. All right, we made it back home. Now we just got to get ourselves lined up to get this trailer connected. There we go. Got her all connected. Good to go. And pull right on out. There we are. All right, we got the trailer. Now let's get up to the dealership. And we're on a bit of a rush because I want to do this before the rain comes. Well, we made it to the deer dealership. We don't have to sign any paperwork or anything because I've already bought it the other day. They told me I could come out here and pick it up whenever I want. And it's that one right there on the side. So I'm just going to fold that back. There we go. And we'll run over. Oh, the rain. No. All right. All right. We get it fired up and get it on the trailer. Come on. 
So as you guys see, we bought a John Deere mower, and I was gonna go out mowing today, but the rain the rain came in early. And now we are getting rained on, trying to load this lawn mower. All right, that should do. Let's lower it back down, put the straps on, and uh, we're gonna get out of here. I do not like being caught in the rain. Now my mower is gonna get all rained on. I mean, I guess it'll be all right. No big deal. Woo, thunder. Do you guys hear that? Ooh, we got a thunderstorm rolling in. I actually really love spring uh, thunderstorms. I don't know about you guys, but I love it when it rains. Just the, the sound of the rain drizzling and, and the thunder crackling. It, it's just the best. So that's a little sad for him, but, uh, you know, he's still got plenty of time. Well, I guess this rain will give me an opportunity to go pick up my car. It's not like I have, uh, you know, the ability to do anything else while it rains out here. All right, there we go. Now we just got to back the mower right up off the trailer, just like so. And let's get this thing put under shelter for the time being. I'm going to have to build a uh, like another little garage here. That way I can store my, my mower and my car. Because I cannot fit both in this garage. It's a one-car garage. I guess I really should have built this with a two-car garage, huh? That's all right. The mower can go in it for now. Let's get this trailer put away. Well, we got the trailer put away. Now, uh, I suppose let's just run inside here. I'm going to call an Uber and they can take me to go pick up my car from the shop. And here's our car at Napa. So this is a uh, Pontiac G8. So let's go ahead and fire it up here. There she goes. Turn on the lights so we can get on home and let's roll. So this is my little, uh, you know, fun car. I was having them do some work to it making this thing real fast. I mean, it is a fast, fast car. I mean, not safe for me to really show you in the rain here, but I'll show you a little bit when we go to pass this guy right here. Now I'll, I'll floor it and woo Yeah, she's definitely got a little bit of uh, pep to her step. Ooh, boy. Let's slow down, slow down, slow down. No need to be going that fast, Jake. Woo. It's definitely a fun car though. We'll have to take this to a car show sometime. I'm sure that there'll be some around here somewhere. And unfortunately, we got our mower in the garage, and I don't have another, another garage sitting here, so this will just park outside for the time being. But there we go. We got our car home. I'm just going to run back in now. And you know what? Now that it's raining, I think it's uh, just a good time to sit down and watch some uh, watch some Netflix or something. So guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I will see you all later. Peace. I'm a rolling stone, bound to roam. Come the morning, or I'll be gone.